afternoon. Welcome to the tea with the ladies, ladies of, of the Delicata. What are we having today? Today we decided to have a sweet and savory spread. Uh, crackers with pears, sliced up garden tomatoes, some brie blue cheese, and uh, spices, herbs. We'll talk about the dessert later. Yes. But first, face of the day. I use the Marc Jacobs Genius Gel. Mm. Does and it make you feel smarter? Yes. And oh. I'm down to here because <laughs> I've been smart that long. Oh, dear. Then I used a brush because I've got this Marc Jacobs. Oh, God, you're going to have to read it. Perfection gel or something? Ivory bisque perfection powder. Oh, so I did the perfection powder on top because yes. now I'm smart and perfect. perfect. <laughs> then on my cheeks, I have Dolce Vita. Dolce Vita. Actually, no, I didn't put on Dolce Vita. I put on. Love joy, but it's the same looking package. <laughs> but it's the same looking package when you go to reach for it. And then, oh, we'll do lipstick last. Okay. And then on my eyes, I don't know why I did that, is YSL's uh -oh, Couture Palette Wild Edition. And it is fun. I just got it yesterday. And it, oh, you have to hold it like that. Actually, probably like that. I put this tanny color on the lid, then I did the crease in that color, and then the darker brown, the outer V, and then I used this, it, this was quite frosty, and I used it on the inner corner and highlight. But she put a lot on today, and I said it looked good, so put a lot on. And lastly, because we're turning to fall, yeah. I have a darker lipstick, and it's Laura Mercier's Peony. Yes, it's a very dark peony. It's a very dark peony. I have red ones with your dahlia in your hair today. My dahlia. And yes. you have a beautiful sunflower. sunflower. So the sunflower and dahlia are from the garden. Mm -hmm. The tomatoes are from the garden. So is the rosemary and thyme and the pear and the raspberry uh, jelly center of the cake. And I think that's about it. Oh, and the other dahlia. One lump or two. Oh, just one because these are tiny little cups. Well, I thought, oh, that's trouble. Push. <laughs> <laughs> and I will use the boarding house fingers. Not reach. Cheers. Mm. Oh, yummy. That's nice and sweet. Oh, yes. And it's strong Darjeeling tea. Yes, Darjeeling is good for the afternoon. Yes, it is. And if it's raining, then you need a little lap song. Suchong. Yeah, make it smoky. That's okay, good. why don't you have some snack? Well, let's start with a cracker. And, oh, we have a fork here. I'm oh, going to grab a mozzarella ball, oh, which will roll cute. around like a marble. I bet that would be yummy. Yes, please. I bet you that would be yummy. Just put in your spaghetti and just have them be little balls in your yeah, spaghetti. They might melt a little bit. Yeah, but they keep their a shape. Tomato. Oh, a tomato. A tomato. And a little bit of rosemary. Yes, I'm savory, aren't I? Yes. And a little I think bit of salt, just because the tomatoes need to. I'll leave the fork. Mm. Um, may I have oh. salt spoon? <laughs> yes, a little salt cellar and a little salt spoon. Nobody ever saw no, anything. No. Man, and I'm not reaching in front of no. you either. There, now. That's huge. Oh, oh my, I my forgot mouth about it. it. Yeah, you have to. Thyme or rosemary? I did a rosemary. Okay. You, so you right. did rosemary, so I'm going to do thyme. <laughs> I want you first. Mmm. 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 Good idea. But I don't want, um, No. I don't want to get lipstick on. That's I okay. Just did. We'll wash it Pretty with little. Pretty little napkins. That matches your outfit. Hmm. You've got a very cream color today. Jessica gave me this for my Happy birthday. birthday. And, oh, we have to talk about our jewelry. Mm -hmm. Okay, notice the little coin and the sea glass. Yes. And the sea glass. Because... When I go on travels, I always think of creative gift ideas. And when I was on the beach in China near the Great Wall. Where it went into the sea. Yes, it was kind of an overcast gray day. But on the beach, you could see every once in a while, and I hunted, bits of beach glass and China from China. Here's a beach glass. And these were my souvenirs. I thought, you know what? I don't need to... China you know, from China. And you had Peking duck in Peking. I did. It was delicious. <laughs> and you got lost in the... in the. I got lost twice. Because my friend has dark hair and she'd turn around and then I 
didn't see her. And it was hard because she wasn't very tall either. And so I'd be scanning, scanning, and if she just turned around, she just looked like the same height and the dark colored hair. You and were I... in the Forbidden City yes. by yourself for an hour and a half? Three hours. <gasps> so, but no, it was okay. It was on a tour. So I just, I just toured around. But anyway, so I find all these lovely bits of glass. She travels and... very well by herself. Yeah, I don't care. I'll... I know I'm going to get found. Well, how did that story end? I did get found. So, you find these little, and, and I figured... You know, I'm yes. not taking stones from, from the earth. I, these are, you know, Man bits of garbage or whatever. So I hunted and hunted and hunted. And I come home and I know a lady who's an artist. And she makes jewelry. So I showed her the whole pile. And she picked through and said, These are the three best shapes to turn into so this is a kind pendant of a, yeah. and then two earrings. Because the earrings, you had to get the, kind of the right same shape. And she found a coin in my pile because I found a coin on the beach too. And then she artistically made it into wrapped jewelry and... She wraps the silver around. Yeah, made it pretty. And so happy birthday too. Thank so you. That's fun. And then I get to think about my trip every time I wear the earrings. And so I'm glad fun. that she got found. <laughs> <laughs> Three yes. hours, huh? Well, Whoa. it's okay. I would have been... God, now everybody knows. I was just trying oh, to... Oh, no. Cool. We won't tell him. Mmm, salty tomato on here. Yes. Have. You have to have a salty really tomato. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, back to me. <laughs> As you know, I love making soap. Mm -hmm. And our videos are brought to you by JBS Farm Soaps. So thank you for your support. I greatly appreciate it. Today, this is my favorite new mold. It's a Camilla mold, but I call it my Nootka Rose mold because we have Nootka Roses that grow around here. So Jessica had me do a Wedgwood design. Mm. And what's the name of that one? Butterfly. Butterfly. Gardens. Boy, that is... It's a floral. Oh, very pretty scent. Just, you want to it's have got a, a very lot of things going on in it. Pink bathroom or something. Just Oh. It's oh. just very soft. And or, or an all-white bathroom. Mm -hmm. And then blue soap right in the middle oh, of it. Pretty. So that's gorgeous. And then the holidays are coming up. So cinnamon Ooh, is fun. Yes. And I made it in a sunflower mold. Oh my gosh, that's a spicy cinnamon. Uh, kind of like a... Not quite a red hot, but it's a good, strong... Cinnamon, like a cinnamon roll cinnamon. Cinnamon. Did I say cinnamon? <laughs> yeah. I think by the name Cinnabon, I would think more vanilla, but... No, not um, much vanilla, just very... Yeah, this one's very smi mm. smi smimony. Smimony. <laughs> I just made lemon sugar bath bombs. Ooh, fun! I did a yellow and white swirl. Yes. Strike. And then I read the ingredients in the lemon sugar, and there's vanilla in it. So it's going to turn a light tan, maybe. Yes. Some, sometimes so quick, it, use it. Yes, <laughs> quick, bye. <laughs> it, um, and I also have unlisted, but I have some shower steamers of yes. this, too. And oh, I was trying to say something. What was it? Oh, I've read some of the vanillas in bath bombs will turn brown and some won't. So it's a surprise. <laughs> so thank mm. you for your support. Mm -hmm. That keeps these videos coming. Mm -hmm. No, I haven't had a pair. I put a little bit of, there's a finger. Mm. And I wanted to try I I guess lemon I'm, on it because... I'm going to try a... I don't want them to turn brown. Oh, this will be good with the blue cheese. Oh! So I'll put the brie on that one. Yes. And I'll put the blue cheese. <clears throat> Yum. Oh! oh stay for my top. birthday dinner, I did a... Because we almost have our own beef. I did a tenderloin roast, and then I put some so of this good. blue cheese on top of it, and it mm. kind of melted. Mm. It was delicious. Mm -hmm. What else did we have? We love cheese. Mmm. Mmm. You mm. remember... Oh, that is good. Yeah. That's why I said to eat it. I know it's, it's good. a great pairing. Yes. It's a great pairing. That gets cut. <laughs> she said, remembered when she was growing up, she always asked for twice-baked yes. potatoes. I love twice-baked potatoes. I haven't made them since, and so I forgot all that, so we had to have twice-baked potatoes oh, last They were night. delicious. And they were small, too, because oh, oh, yeah, if you make them too big, big, then you stuff them. And yourself. I grew the potatoes, too. Yes, yeah, so that was pretty. They were white russets. Mm -hmm. yeah, I thought they would be fluffier, better. but they weren't fluffy. Sour cream. Actually, I didn't put. I just used butter, use salt, and pepper. <gasps> Scandalous! I forgot. And then just I used the Still little green. teeny part of the uh, grater for the cheddar. Nice. Yeah. But I mixed it all in instead of just on top. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I think the other way I did sour cream inside. Yeah. Yeah. I've done it with yogurt before, trying to be healthy. Ugh. Don't try to be healthy. Have real sugar. Yeah. Have real coffee. I mean, occasionally, if you're healthy, then you can get away with all this stuff. Mm. Just nothing in excess. Yes. 
True. That's yeah. why these cups are tiny and Oh, that is good tea. It is good tea. Okay, now I have to try your cup. brie. When she was Brie's two, good. she discovered brie. I love brie. We were at my aunt's and she found the cheese platter and yes. she found brie and she's loved it ever since. Yum. Good times. Good times. Good times. Good times. Good times. Good times. Mm -hmm. Somebody had a birthday. Oh, and I had a baker make me the best. Because she put in a request. Because one time she sent a cake up through the mail, and it was so good I wanted it for my birthday, too. Ooh. Yes. Yep. Wanna, yeah, what? I think that's big enough. There you go. Ooh, have that's not side. fair. <laughs> I'll just have the little piece. <laughs> what things are. Well, made a Here. white cake, and it's very dense, but I made a white cake, uh, baked it, threw it in the freezer, because wanted to not think about it a week ahead of time. Here's the white. So it was already three thin slices. And then uh, the day of, I made the raspberry filling, which was a big bag of uh, home-picked raspberries. A gallon. gallon of raspberries, probably. Mash, mash, mash with a potato smasher. Um, and then strained, take that strained juice, was about a cup and a half with quarter cup, a little over a quarter cup of um, cornstarch. That's the word. That's the word that thickens it with half a cup of sugar, boil it down, and it just thickens. And before it gets too hard, you spread it over each layer of cake, uh, layer the cakes with buttercream around the edge so that the buttercream kind of holds up so that it doesn't just squish. Did you do a soak? Yeah, I did, but it didn't, you can't taste it. So if you want, if you feel like doing a soak, if your cake's really dry or you're doing a certain kind of cake that is you supposed some to be dry. Booze on it. Yes, I poured a little booze, but it was a booze that had been in the cupboard for a really long time, and been in the cupboard for a while. Kind of. Tasted. It was cassis, something cassis. Crim Crim no, cassis. maybe something. But it was purple, and I added simple syrup to it and drizzled it over the cakes, and the cakes tried to soak it in to keep them moist. And but then you taste it, and then a, a buttercream that's just a vanilla custard. It was vanilla custard. It doesn't taste vanilla custard. I used salted butter, and I should have used unsalted butter. So all I taste is the salt, even though nobody else tastes it. I can taste it. Mm. And then a little bit of red food coloring because the raspberry uh, juice that I had left over to pour in to color it was watering it down Who too cares? much. And a lemon mousse. I care. So that next oh. time. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. Oh, and a lemon souffle. Oh, souffle. Mousse. mousse. This is a mousse, not mousse. Soup. My mouth is watering. I have to feed it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. And you serve them separate and it looks fancy like it's your oh, ice cream with your, that's good. With your cake. And we had my mom, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. who's going to be 95. Yes. In, and she asked you the same question. Over and over. So so I hope I'm... We have patience. Yeah. But it's and hard. So, so she's going to take good care of me yes. when I'm 95. Yes. <laughs> and she'll be forgetting, too. Oh, I know. So happy birthday. I, did, I should have put more candles on it. Had you blow them out. <laughs> well, we almost set off the fire alarm. Yeah. Gosh, so many candles. But they were pretty. They were gold. Tall gold yes. ones on them. So it was very fun. Yeah. If you could have fun or more fun, go for more fun. More fun. To more fun. Mm. Having tea, are we? <laughs> Such eating fun. cake, are we? <laughs> mm. We have to tell you guys. Yes. Because we're going to start saying these things over and mm -hmm. over. The best TV show, and of course it's already stopped, is on BBC. Mm -hmm. It's called Miranda. It's by Miranda Hart. She wrote it, she directed it, I think, mm -hmm. and she stars in it. It is the most funny show. Yeah. Um, she's also been in um, Call, the Midwife. Call the Midwife. She's one of the nurses and stuff. She's so talented. Yeah. And you wouldn't expect it. I mean, you just kind of, you know, see British her and her humor. friends, British humor. And then the more you hear it, the, the jokes kind of start to. You go, oh, that's what, oh, God, it's just hilarious. She has Mom a, is rolling laughing. She has she? a joke shop, and it, her mother's in it, and she has kind of a boyfriend thing going with yes. the chef next door. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And, and you just, if, if you have a chance, if you can find it I, on your... On your internet somehow. Just, mm -hmm. just Google... Miranda. Yeah, Miranda or Miranda Hart, and just keep yes. looking for the show, oh, Miranda. Yes. So. Man. Such fun. Such fun! <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, boy, this is fun. Mm-hmm. I really like it with the lemon. Yeah, the lemon makes it. Because the lemon's tart and it brings a brightness to the sweet. Mm. Oh. Is there anything else? I'm getting full. She gets full. Mm. 
I had a big lunch. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Thanks for coming. Thanks for joining us. And thank you for supporting yes. JBS Farm. So until next time, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.